What is this? right here and my Jordans even fell over bro they made my Jordans fall bro the PlayStation 5 design has been circling the internet causing some great question marks big question marks but comes to find out this is a mock-up render by a reset error Remember Crimson Nocturne because this was circling on recent error. Some dudes thought it was the final design. Some dudes were questioning it. And it is a mock-up um, by a fan of the PlayStation 5. It has a slope design towards the front. And I have to say, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm glad this is not the final design because if this is the case, the design of the Xbox is going to beat it by a mile, bro. The design of the Xbox, the, um, it just it just looks dope. But um, for the PlayStation 5, I have no idea what Sony is going to do. There is that picture, that mock-up that's been leaking about a month ago. Um, of, well, it wasn't a um, it, that one wasn't even a rumor. It was an actual PlayStation 5 development kit. It was shaped like a V. It looked like a um, <laughs> you know those vacuum, those Roomba vacuums that go automatically that's what it looked like so um, this was a concept art of the PlayStation 5 I'm not feeling this at all um, it's it slopes down towards the front it looks a little ergonomic futuristic but that ain't it Sway. that ain't it um, Xbox has revealed the design of their next-gen console the Xbox Series X and the name of the system is just Xbox as I talked about yesterday but I'm loving 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 the design it looks lit all right next news item there is dlc coming to luigi's mansion 3 bars um luigi's mansion 3 will be getting two dlc packs uh, for a multiplayer online multiplayer the first add-on will come out april 30th 2020 and the second will roll around july all the way in july um, and you'll have to buy them as a bundle for $10 on the eShop, which is relatively cheap. And I have to say, <coughs> Luigi's Mansion 3, not just a good game, a great game. I love the, the single player. Still haven't beaten it yet. I'm almost to the end. Um, the single player campaign, great. I was a little underwhelmed by the multiplayer. After you played about once or twice, it's the same thing. And so I wasn't really fearing the online multiplayer, but the single player campaign is lit for Luigi's Mansion 3. All right, next news item. Talking about the PlayStation 5. Bruh, would you buy a PlayStation 5 at $600? How about $1,000? Because these were the two prices leaking around on the internet. That's right. PlayStation 5 for $600 that the PlayStation 5 will come out in two models just like the Xbox one at 600 and one at 1000 these rumors came courtesy of a Japanese blog called Gamergate and it picked up so much traction Sony had to come out and respond and say the information is not correct is not accurate there's no way. Y'all remember when Sony announced the PlayStation 3 for $600? <laughs> and then the mic and then Xbox ate their lunch money all generation. And so I don't think that's gonna happen. I really think with both um, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox X series that they're gonna target somewhere around 400 500 the most 500 is the breaking point for gamers and buying consoles 
<laughs> go ahead, try it, Sony. Try it, Microsoft, if y'all feeling froggy. We sell y'all consoles for $600, and no one will buy it but me. <laughs> and so, um, I think it's going to be around four hundred five and $1,000. That's like iPhone territory, bro. That's how much iPhones cost, $1,000. And so, it was being rumored that the PlayStation 5 will have two models, one at 600 and one at 1000 But Sony did come out and say... It's not real. So if you see anything about that on the internet, it's fake news. Fake news, fake news, fake news. And next news item. I thought this was pretty dope. Nintendo stole a, play, a page from Microsoft. And they're doing a year in review for your Switch gaming. Uh, Microsoft has done it last year. I don't know if they're doing it this year again. Where they summarize your entire... Um, gaming year in review and so this is mine let's check it out I did peek at it uh, so this is my year in review on the switch my journey began March 2017 we bought it at launch first game I am Setsuna why it was a launch game for the switch and so we put, we put that in the switch first and my most played games in 2019 Splatoon 2 2k you know 2k third party games arms is definitely my kids on my account and super smash brothers i play super smash brothers a lot with the sponsors but 2k third party games most games i played on my switch this year and how many hours we clocked in 1245 and we played 82 games on the switch this year and you spent the most time. When did I spend the most time playing? May and June. Dipped around August, September. I know because uh, 2K came out and I was playing it on my Xbox. And then October and November, we, we cranked it back up. And this is how many points. We got almost 5,000 gold points. And I have no idea what to do with them. What do I do with these gold points, Nintendo? Help me out. <laughs> oh, so it's about gold points. What can I get with the gold points? Okay, you can now you might go, when purchasing Nintendo Switch Digital game. Oh, is that oh that's how many points I earned during the year. Okay, I got you. Okay, so yeah, I use those gold points. I use those gold points for games. Alright, so I thought that was cool. Cool thing that Nintendo's doing. So let, me, let me see real quick. Um, Xbox Year in Review 2019. Are they still doing that? Is that I know they did that um, last year, but they're not doing it this year. 2018. They're not doing it for 2019. They did it for 2018. So, I guess they're not doing it this year, Microsoft. I'll try to look it up real quick. All right. Next news item. Let me, I'm trying to click on one more link for this Microsoft again review. If it doesn't, nah, they ain't doing it. I don't, I don't know why they ain't doing it this year. It was lit last year. All right, next news item bro there is some stadia controversy on the internet bro first i think stadia is flopping hard right now bro a lot of dudes were hyped for it and it's been relatively quiet in stadia land big point of controversy right now false advertisement um previously they were saying borderlands 3 borderlands 3 on stadia is running at 30 frames per second bro if you are having cloud gaming there should be no limits no caps um where gamers um, were told that the game would run at 4k 60 it's coming to find out that it on um, borderlands is running at 30 frames per second which is unacceptable because i consider in stadia next gen bro that's next gen 30 frames is a no-go next gen bro and so one user on Reddit, he posted his issues, and he was ab actually able to get a refund from Stadia because the game was not running at 60 frames per second. So, you guys let me know, uh, did you pick up Stadia, and what is your experience, what has been your experience with Stadia? Alright, dude, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below, I want to know, but before we go, bro, click that subscribe button, stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We out, boy.
I ain't afraid of no ghosts.